Do you want to know how to buy products from walmart.com to resell them back onto Walmart? Well, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to do it step by step. And I've personally spent over $100,000 on products on walmart.com in order to resell them back onto Walmart. I'm going to be showing you my criteria and exactly what makes a good or bad product. And I'm going to show you the best times to buy products, as well as I'm also going to be showing you a good product and a sample bad product so that you know exactly what to look for. So without further ado, let's get into it. So when looking for products to flip from Walmart onto Walmart, there are two types of flips that you can do. The first is where you buy products from Walmart, and these are going to be discounted products. They could be clearance, rollback, or any other type of deal, and you're buying them at a discount in order to go ahead and resell them when the price goes back up. The second type of Walmart to Walmart flip is where Walmart is selling an item and they have low stock and you buy all of that inventory and then you go ahead and you resell it on the exact same listing for a higher price. And we're going to be taking a look at an example of both of these. But first, let's quickly go over my criteria in order to determine what is a good or a bad buy, as well as to make sure that you're doing everything within terms of service of Walmart. The first thing to note is that I only buy directly from Walmart. I don't buy from third party sellers. The reason for this is because I want to keep my account as healthy as possible and I don't want to go ahead and risk it by buying items that might be counterfeit or I don't want to have an issue where my invoice isn't being accepted. My second criteria is that I do not use Walmart Plus. Using Walmart Plus to resell products is against their terms of service, so I use an account that does not have Walmart Plus. My third main rule is that I use a buyer account that has a different email address than my seller account, because if something happens with my buyer account, I do not want it really being tied to my seller account. The last thing to note in terms of criteria is that you can also use a Walmart business account where I have had a lot more success using that rather than a just a regular buying account. Now let's talk about how to find products. The easiest way is just to shop on Walmart around the time that they have deals. So this is going to be around Black Friday, Cyber Monday, or any of the times where it's going to be around a holiday, Walmart is going to do a ton of deals. So right now they're preparing for their Black Friday deals and they've already rolled out a ton of discounts across a lot of products. And there are just so many deals that you can go ahead and you can buy up to resell. One other thing to note is that you can also use discounts like Rakuten or Top Cashback or any of the other ones. And Rakuten is currently giving me a 10% cashback, which is going to even make your items more profitable. So what I'll normally do is I'll come to where it says either Black Friday deals or you can search up deals. And you can also browse the clearance as well as the flash deals, but the best deals are going to be when it's a holiday season. From there, I'll usually take a look at the homepage. Usually you'll find some stuff maybe, but nothing really too good. What I like to do is I like to go and I like to go into specific sections such as toys, health and wellness, home. A lot of those categories are going to have a ton of products that you can resell. So what I can do is I can open up the toys section and I'm looking for brand name products like Lego, like Pokemon or other products that are going to sell thousands of units per month. You can also shop by brand right here, as well as you can go ahead and you can sort by different type of items. And I found this product right here, and this Lego product is currently discounted for $25, and the list price is $49.99. The next thing that I'm going to take a look at is I'm going to take a look at the item price history. And I'm going to do this using a tool called Sellify, which is a Walmart Chrome extension tool. And you can get access to this with my link in the description, as well as a coupon code for your first month off. Now using Sellify, we can see that for the past three months, this item has more or less been at around $60. And Walmart maybe discounts it a couple of times. And you'll see it's only very recently that it's dropped down to 26 and then it's gone about $40. So Walmart is going up and down right now with this discounted pricing. However, you'll see that there's not just a long graph of it selling for 25. So this is actually an item that is discounted and is a good sign for a flip onto Walmart. The next thing I want to do is I want to check my profitability. So I'm going to plug in my cost, which is going to be about 25. And then we also have the Rakuten one. So I'm going to do times 0.9. And then I'm going to enter my sales price. Let's say on the low end, I can sell it for 40. Let's see if we're going to be profitable. And we could probably sell it for 50 because that's sort of when it goes back to. So we're going to just put uh, 20. $23 as our cost. Actually, it's probably going to be $22.50. And we see right now on the low end, if this is the worst case scenario, we're going to be making 13%. But if we can sell it for $50, we can go ahead and we can make a 50% ROI. So this is a really good item to flip. Now, before I purchase it, there are a couple of other things that I want to check. First, I'm going to check the velocity and I'm going to do that using verified reviews, as well as I'm also going to check the buy box share to see if Walmart is rotating it. And I'm also going to check the badges to see if there are any. So right here, we see that this item has badges 1000 plus bought since yesterday in 200 people's carts. So this is an extremely fast moving item. If I bought 10 units of this, I could probably go ahead and sell them within a week. So now that we verified velocity as well as we also verified profitability, and we see that we can actually have an opportunity for the price to go back up and for us to make a profit. The next thing I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at the sellers. So I see that Walmart is right now 
at 85 quantity and they're at a price of 25. So now that we've verified velocity as well as profitability, as well as that the price is not just staying at a flat price or a low price forever. The next thing that I'm gonna look at is I'm gonna look at the offer count as well as the buy box stats. So for the number of offers that are on this listing, I'm not really worried because this is an extremely fast moving product. And I see that Walmart has 85 units. However, this is not a hard number to go by because they might have other units in store. We don't know exactly when they are refilling this item. This is a very fast moving product. So they might be getting another 10,000 units or 100,000 units coming in. However, I do see that currently Sellify is showing me 85. So what we could potentially do is just buy all of the 85 stock, go ahead and we could immediately tonight sell it for 47.70. We can just undercut the seller and we could make our money back within one day. Realistically, Walmart is probably going to restock. So that's why I just plan around it where they are going to raise the price. However, the next thing I want to do is I want to take a look at the buy box stats and I'm going to take a look to see if Walmart is sharing it. So over the past 30 days, they have not shared it over the past 60 days as well. It looks like, and then if we look at the past 90 days and it doesn't look like Walmart sharing it, but that could also be because no other seller is undercutting them. I also didn't see that any other seller was WFS. So it actually looks like there are two WFS sellers. And this could also be an opportunity where we can send this item into WFS and we can go ahead and we could profit that way. But this is probably a merchant fulfilled opportunity, in my opinion, of just getting those items and then flipping them really quickly once the price goes back up. The last thing that I want to confirm before buying this is I want to make sure that I can list it. So there are two ways that you can do that. First, I come down here and I see that there are a ton of other third party sellers selling this item. So that means that third party sellers probably can list it. The next thing that you want to do is you want to add it to your own catalog and to confirm that you can personally list it. So you're going to click this button and then it's going to open up to your catalog and then you're going to add it to your inventory and then you're going to see if you get an error status. So I already know that Lego is gated. However, if you are ungated for Lego, this would be a decent flip in my opinion. Taking a look at this other Lego listing that I found, we see that it's selling for the same price, $25 with the same deal of it being discounted from $49.99. So going here, we see that there are six sellers. We see that it's also selling 1,000 bought since yesterday. So that is probably because of the Black Friday deal and we don't have the best seller badge. So I'm gonna take that with a grain of salt and probably say that this item is not moving as quickly as the other one when it's not Black Friday. However, another thing to note though, is that we do see a lot more of a stable price graph where this thing is selling for $50 for the majority of the year. So this is probably a very recent deal and this is only a Black Friday deal. So going in here, if we were to sell this at $50, which I'm much more confident that we could sell this one at that price and we were going to buy it for 25 and that's without any Rakuten or any credit card points or anything like that, we would get a very solid 38% ROI with WFS. Now you can also go ahead and you can add your own merchant fulfilled fees, your own warehouse prep or or just your own fulfillment cost, but this is a really good item and it's looking like so far. So let's go ahead and take a look at the buy box share as well as the offer count breakdown. So we see that this item is now getting verified reviews. So this is probably a newer listing and it's also starting to sell for Q4. And then taking a look right here, we see that Walmart is again, low in stock with 47 and the next highest price is at $60. So this is an item where I'd probably go a little bit deeper. I might get about 25, maybe 30 units if I could. And I would go ahead, I'd buy it and then I try and sell it as quickly as possible. And I'm pretty confident that this is a fast mover. So again, last thing to do before you buy is just add it to your catalog, confirm that you can actually buy it and then go ahead and sell it and make money. So we took a look at two listings that I would buy. Now let's take a look at two listings that I wouldn't. The first is going to be this monster high Wednesday one. And if you look at it, it's $42.99 and it was selling for 65. So not the greatest margin, but with Rakuten's 10% off, maybe we can go ahead and we can find some money to be made here. So taking a look at the listing, there are 19 sellers, which is a good sign because that means that other sellers are able to sell it. And if we enter in our cost, let's say we have 43 and then we're gonna do times 0.9 and then we're gonna add our sale price. So we're gonna add our cost as 43 times 0.9. It's gonna give us a cost of 38.70 with Rakuten. Some people do not like to add their cash back into it, but for Walmart to Walmart flips, I do because there are some products that are not profitable until you add it. And then we have the sale price. So let's say we sold it at 65. We would be making about 25% ROI. So that's a decent ROI for me, especially since this is a fast mover. This is 100 bought since yesterday. Again, just products where you can go ahead and you can get your money back really quickly. But if we take a look at the lowest price history, we can see that this item was selling for 65. And then very recently in 1021, Walmart started selling it for 46.99, 47. And only now Walmart just went ahead and they started to discount it. So this is a product where I'm not so confident that Walmart is actually going to raise their price back up. And if we scroll down even more, we can take a look. So we see that they are starting to get a lot more reviews. 
and this is again a high velocity product but if you look at their quantity and walmart has over 3,000 units and we saw that they are discounting that price more and more and they're trying to get rid of this item so this would not be an item that i'd personally want to flip because if i did buy it it would probably be a hold of at least a month or two before the price bounces back up the next product that i found that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be this pokemon collection so this product is selling for 20 and it's discounted from 40 dollars so that is a really good margin especially with rakuten's deal and if we go right here i'm going to enter in my cost so let's say my cost is going to be 18 and then we have a sale price of 40. So that's gonna give us an ROI of $50. That's really good, especially this thing is selling over a thousand times in the last two days. So again, really good metrics. And then if we go down here and we don't see any lowest price graph. And the reason for that is because if we also check, there's no reviews. So this is a brand new listing. And this is something that while the ROI and just everything looks good, I personally wouldn't buy it because there is no data to show that the price is going to go back up. So while all of the profit looks good and the velocity looks good, if you take a look, Walmart has 28,000 units. And again, they're selling it for $20. This is a brand new listing on Walmart as well. So it's just not something that I can feel confident about buying and that I just don't wanna go ahead and maybe they will raise the price, but there's just nothing that I can guarantee it with. So that's my exact process for doing Walmart to Walmart flips with online deals. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to go ahead and give a thumbs up. Be sure to also check out my free Walmart course down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.